Greetings, today we're going to be discussing Simpson's Paradox. Before we begin, let's start with a definition of Simpson's Paradox, also called the Yule Simpson effect in statistics, an effect that occurs when the marginal association between two categorical variables is qu qualitatively different from the partial association between the same two variables after controlling for one or more other variables. So what does all that mean? Let's consider the case of graduate admissions at a university. This university has 200 male applicants and admits 104 of them. They also have 200 female applicants and admit 80 of them. Sweet, so 52% of the male students get in, but only 40% of the women are admitted? Is this a case of gender discrimination? Not quite. First, let's look at the graduate programs. There are four, education, nursing, engineering, and physics. Note how the women apply disproportionately higher to the first two and men apply disproportionately higher to the second two. Now let's look at admissions data. 20% of the men who apply to nursing and education get in, whereas 30% of the women are accepted to these same programs. For engineering and physics, men get accepted at a rate of 60%, whereas women get admitted at a rate of 80%. And thus we see that women get accepted at a higher rate than men for every one of these programs. It just seems like the opposite is true simply because women apply disproportionately to programs with lower overall acceptance rates. By controlling for each individual program, we can see that women are in fact faring better than their male counterparts in graduate admissions at this university. And that's an example of Simpson's paradox. And that's all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me or leave comments in the comment box. Until then, take care.